So the reason why most people do not switch to Linux is because Windows 10 has software that is not available on Linux. Today I'm going to show you how I run Windows 10 inside of Linux and then use the software that Windows 10 provides which is not available on Linux. Now I'll show you my current Linux uh, system which is Arch Linux and it's um, called Endeavor OS but it is Arch Linux it's just uh, Endeavor OS the community of this distribution makes it makes Arch Linux a little bit easier to install but uh, of course there are is there are some pieces of software that I require which only run on Windows 10. So what I'm going to do is I already have a Windows 10 virtual machine set up as you can see over here and my task today is to upload some code using something called Plastic SEM and that is not available on Arch Linux. So I'm going to start up my virtual machine by clicking play like that and as soon as I click play there is Windows 10 inside of Linux. So that is Windows 10 and once I run Windows 10 I can access my Linux drive as I have connected the Linux drive on the network and as usual this is one of the reasons why I stopped using Windows because I cannot control the updates okay so I'm going to just log in to my Windows 10 operating system there it is you can see it's fast because this is QEMU and now I'm going to just go to plastic SCM there is plastic SCM and I'm going to set up a new workspace which is required and uh, that is that is basically a service that I use you don't need to know about that so here I go I'll just wait for it because Windows 10 is slow and this is an old this is an old repository I'm going to create a new one workspace over there I'm going to create a new workspace right in front of you right now I'll say create new workspace and I'm going to create the new workspace um, like that and I'm going to name my workspace which I'm going to take the name from the folder and I'm just going to search for it there is the folder name because I have to name the folders correctly there it is that is the name I'll hit OK I'll click OK mm, name of new repository is this and yeah everything's fine and there you go and uh, I believe the new repository will be created <laughs> well for some reason this is not working properly and this is Windows 10 I'll actually play the video when it's done well at least I caught an error and Windows 10 is known for this. Oh, great. Let's try it again. Thank God I use Linux. Anyway, so I'm going to go back to repositories, workspaces. Let's see if that workspace was created. It was not. So I'm going to click new again, create new workspace. I'm going to go and, uh, hmm. Okay, so the problem is that I did not uh, select the new folder, which I'm going to select now. By the way, this is my Linux drive you see over here. You can see it reads Arch Linux. This is connected through the internet. So I can just select this. This is going to be my new repository. I'll name it over here and I'll say new. And I'm going to name the repository this. I'll hit OK. There you go, there the new repository has been created. And uh, hmm, yeah, it's created. I'll hit, I'll click OK. Oh my god, Windows 10 is so buggy. Anyway, this is the new repository. You can see this is, uh, this is going to be uploaded on the internet. I'll click uh, add directory tree to source. I believe that's what it's called. I yeah, add directory tree to source control. 
I'm going to click that and I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to go to pending changes. I'll write first commit and I'll check in changes. And once this is done, I'm going to just close it uh, after it's finished. It's finished. I'll just take a quick look at Task Manager so you know just how much uh, resources Windows Windows 10 is using. And as usual, <laughs> the Windows Modules Installer is taking the most out of my CPU. This is, these are Windows 10 Force updates. I'm just happy that I use Linux, so I don't need to deal with these all the time. And you can just shut this virtual machine down. And you are now using Linux as well as Windows. Oh boy.